Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Leila Mikdiva and today I am gonna be sharing my nose job essentials as you guys can tell. No, you cannot tell actually. A lot of people cannot even guess that I got a nose job. Um, as you guys know, those of you who are watching me regularly, I got a nose job 10 months ago. I can't believe it's gonna be one year soon. This is actually my second time filming this video because the first video I filmed, I absolutely hated how I looked there. So let's hope that this video will go live. You know, sometimes you're just not giving and I didn't want to put it out there and not enjoy how I look, you know? But back to the video. I many times in my nose job update videos uh, was mentioning essentials that you need for your nose job and that it deserves its own video and yet it took me 10 months to actually sit down and film it and I don't have a lot of time because I gotta run soon so I'll try to make it as quick as possible and for you guys to find it enjoyable and helpful okay so there are two parts of this video because there are essentials that you need to do before your nose job and then there are essentials that you need to buy after your nose job so let's start with before your nose job the first and most important thing that i knew i need to do is to go get my eyes checked because i cannot see that well but it's not that bad it's like negative 1.5 uh so it's not that bad but i do wear sometimes glasses to be able to see and i knew that after a nose job for a while i won't be able to do that so i went to an ophthalmologist to get prescription for my contact lenses which i never wore before so that was something new and exciting and i still wear contact lenses and thank god <laughs> for my nose job because otherwise i could never see anything and now with contact lenses i am actually able to see the world so some people get back to wearing sunglasses and glasses as soon as possible but i waited pretty much this whole time only now i started wearing sunglasses it also helped that i got my nose job in july and so summer was over and in september in prague there was no sun so i had no trouble not wearing sunglasses and glasses uh, but now that it's really hot and sunny i must wear sunglasses and it's great that i let my nose heal i'm really happy about that so if you like me cannot see i recommend to get your eyes checked and get yourself contact lenses because right after your surgery you will not care about those things so prepare in advance my next essential that i actually didn't do myself because no one told me to so i'm here to tell you because i had to struggle with this one get your teeth checked nothing was hurting me everything was great i went to get my nose job i come back and as i said i, I had my nose job in july and then in september my teeth like somewhere there started hurting and it actually turned out to be just one tooth and i had to wait this whole time and it, it, it was hurtful i was just taking painkillers and i waited till april because that's when i was able to open my mouth wide enough so they could like you know heal my tooth i don't know fix it and you know I, when it happened i was just like oh my god why didn't i think about it so i'm here to tell everyone if you're about to get a nose job if you're planning to do that go to the dentist first get your teeth fixed because you never know when your next tooth will start hurting and trust me your dentist is able to see beforehand if something is gonna be bothering you so just get them checked and only then book your surgery keep that in mind don't be like me next is not an essential just something i felt like is important to mention don't get piercings right before your nose job or any other surgery i'm not sure about actually i'm not sure about other surgeries but for my nose job i had to remove all of my jewelry all of my piercings i don't have that many basically just my ears and my belly button and yes belly button like it's all the way down there my nose is up here but they they said i have to so I had to and I did it and I was just thinking that if I had any new piercings and I had to remove them that would be it I wouldn't be able to put it back in and 
all of that pain, struggle, you know, getting ears pierced or whatever other body part, it's just never fun, you know, the healing process takes a while and I was just thinking, thank god I didn't get any piercings lately done because otherwise it would be a problem, I would have to go get them re-pierced, so if, you know, sometimes it just like happens that you're like, oh, let me go get my ears pierced or whatever else you want to pierce, if you have a nose job coming up, don't do it, wait for after the surgery and then go get it done because also another reason especially if you get your um, ears pierced after your nose job you need to lay straight you're not allowed to turn uh, and sleep on your different sides for a while so it's better to lay straight even months later um, so imagine if you have a piercing on your ears and a lot of times you're not allowed to lay straight or on the side where you get the piercing and it's just you know you don't need that pain it's already painful here uncomfortable here like you don't need to add more so yeah definitely don't mix those two together and now let's talk about essentials for after the surgery the first very important essential is right here my neck pillow this was my best friend for good one two months i don't remember when exactly i stopped wearing this because honestly it was so painful but this helped a lot because like i said after your nose job you're required to sleep straight especially when i still had my cast on i had to sleep actually seated like this this is how i was sleeping of course i kept on going down during my sleep and then wake up again you wake up all the time because of those tampons I forgot how it's called in your nose so you you don't sleep either way but this is the best thing that makes sleeping as comfortable as possible so neck pillow and next let's talk about massaging your nose i'm not gonna show you guys how to do it because my doctor did show it in my vlog and you can just go check out that vlog there is no need for me to show it again and also i did show in that vlog um what i was using right after my surgery for my nose but all of that was given to me by my doctor so i don't want to say here like go get that go get this because i just think you need to stick to whatever your doctor is saying but after you come back home if you're going to turkey like i did and you come back home and you know there's no doctor no help um, a lot of things you need to figure out yourself so that's why i'm here for you because i went through it and my doctor did tell me to tape my nose for one more month you guys remember i also wore retainer in my nose uh so that was just like awful and i hated how my nose looked because it was so wide and i had to tape it all the time but the thing is i still tape it even 10 months later i'm still taping my nose because when i don't tape my nose i wake up with this huge potato instead of a nose and i just can't do that like my mental health and is not strong enough like that's a whole another topic i did explain that i have body dysmorphia after my nose job so when my nose is not perfect and if i don't tape it at night in the morning it's not perfect i just can't deal with that i can't handle that so i must tape my nose so i have two tapes because this one is from amazon i ordered like a pack of six i think um and they're not that strong but they worked they were fine but right after the surgery i really think you should use something sturdier uh so this one omniplast by hartman the brand is really the best i got last time really huge one so now i whenever i use this one i need to cut it in the middle so it covers just a bit of my nose and not like fully all of my nostrils and all of my nose because it's too huge so yeah it's like more work but make sure to get the right size because i was stupid enough to just not care what size i'm ordering and just ordered this so now i must use it and speaking of swelling arnica i have both the pills and the gel so the gel actually this one is amazing because one that i used before was a cream and it didn't do much this gel by dr Mueller, which is i think german brand maybe austrian not sure if you live in europe you probably can get it if you live in the us or anywhere else i don't know what to tell you but this one really worked for me so i'm recommending it to you so if you find arnica cream gel that doesn't really make your nose smaller and help with the swelling maybe just try different arnica cream or gel because my first one was useless and then i tried this one and i was like oh my god 
it's actually amazing and then arnica pills i'm sure you have them every country has their own version i think this one is french so as i said i live in the czech republic so it's either french german or anything else but yeah this one is arnica montana and it's like these small i don't know pills that you just put on top of your tongue this is how small it is wait can you see see super small so you need like five of those and i think up to three times per day i love using them they're so sweet and they do help as well without these two i wouldn't be able to show up in the world because otherwise my nose would be swollen all the time then another important essential for after your nose job is spf 50. I'm using the one from La Roche Posay and I really love it. So make sure to get SPF 50, not 20, 30. Like the stronger the better. And I recommend this one. Although they do test on animals and I try to buy only cruelty free makeup products and like just uh, chemical things for the house as well. But with this one, it's just like the best SPF I tried and I cannot find cruelty-free SPF. So forgive me for recommending something that tests on animals, but it's really good and it helps protect my skin. And for now, this is the product I can recommend. Please buy it before your surgery actually, because especially in the summer or if you live in warmer climates where you have sun all the time like you, um, you must protect your nose, especially right after the surgery. But overall, all the time, protect your face. It makes you look younger and makes your beauty stay longer. <laughs> and another essential for after the surgery is saline solution or seawater. Um, please make sure to buy the one that has like spray so you can actually spray it so it goes all the way up there uh, because after the surgery a lot of times my nose was clogged up and i wasn't able to even blow it so this was really helpful and even now it's so helpful because you know if you already had your nose job done you know like your nose is always running a lot of times you cannot breathe because i guess it's it all has to do with the swelling because once i clean my nose i can breathe just fine so this is an essential please don't get addicted to any sprays because that was my story. I couldn't breathe, so I got addicted to the spray that you're not supposed to use for longer than like a week or something. And I used it for like months and months and then it was so difficult to stop using it and instead to switch back to saline solution. Somehow I thought like, oh, I'm done with saline solution. I don't need it anymore. I can breathe just fine. No, I am pretty sure that I am gonna be using this for a long time because my nose is still recovering even though it's been 10 months sometimes she's still swollen she goes through her own you know cycles and that sometimes makes my life harder because i cannot breathe so thanks to celine solution for being there for me and i do recommend it to you so that's all the essentials from me for today i hope i didn't forget anything but i really felt like these are the things that people need to know about if you are about to have a surgery or you just had your surgery if you had your surgery a while ago share in the comments what helped you if i forgot something if you have any other questions related to healing process any things that you are not sure whether you need to buy or not uh, so i can respond to that but besides that i think i covered everything and if you just got your nose done and of course, I will share with you my one year post-op result in two months. So stay tuned for that. For now, I'm just here to talk about essentials that you need. But if you care about my nose, here she is. She looks gorgeous. We love her. But more in my next nose job video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.